Welcome back to Pokemon Gold. In the last chapter, we met our new rival, Silver, and we kicked his butt pretty good. So, in this chapter, we're gonna be exploring this gate up here, and we're also gonna be heading west. But first, I would like to do a quick team update. I did some off-screen training, and as you can see here, our Chikorita is now on level 10. And our newly caught Pidgey is at level 10 also. Also learned two moves, Gust and Sand Attack. So we're going to be using Pidgey and its Gust Attack quite a bit. And we also caught a Rattata. I'm not going to be using it this much. This is just a supported Pokemon. So we're going to box it later on. So we're going to go ahead and continue up north to Route 46. You can't climb ledges, but you can jump down from them and take a shortcut. Is that so? It's different kind of Pokemon here, past here. If you want to catch them all, you have to look everywhere. Ain't that the truth? Welcome to Route 46 with the cool, awesome music. So, a uh, few new Pokemon you are able to find here. First Pokemon is Geodude. What a surprise here. Geodude is a very sturdy Pokemon despite its weaknesses. And it's four time weaknesses to grass and water, it's still a pretty decent Pokemon once fully evolved. If you have a fire type, you're gonna have some trouble with Geodudes, of course, and any rock type in general. But if you're able to get Geodude up to its final level and bypass its weaknesses, then it's a pretty darn good Pokemon. The next Pokemon you're able to find here is Spiro, as you can see on the screen here. Spearow is a very feisty and in-your-face Pokemon. It's a little more aggressive than Pidgey, and it only has two stages. But it's ooh. but it's a pretty good flying type, and I was I was pretty intimidated by the first time I fought Spearow because, like I said, I only chose Trickorita throughout this entire generation, and I had a tough time with Spearow. So it's a very good Pokemon. It has good attack and good speed overall. Once fully evolved, it is a beast. So if you prefer, if you don't want Pidgey, then you can go ahead and pick up Spearow. If you don't want Hootoot, you can go ahead and pick up Spearow for a flying type. The next Pokemon, new Pokemon you can find here is Jigglypuff, the balloon Pokemon. Um, Jigglypuff, um, I guess it can be like a staller Pokemon, like to stall during long battles because it has such good HP and really only knows like oh hey Jigglypuff um I guess I can go ahead and catch it and hopefully it doesn't put me to sleep I'm gonna have to tackle it um Jigglypuff is like uh, like I said staller Pokemon god damn it oh so um it's hard to take down because of its massive HP stat but you can still use it on your team. It's a normal type, so normal types can learn a variety of moves. And once you get it evolved into a Wigglytuff, it's a pretty good Pokemon. So that's it for all the new Pokemon you find on Route 46. Take him down. Kill him dead. And we're going to go ahead and uh, switch out. So we can get some experience on our Pidgey. Like I said, I'm going to be boxing Rattata later. So that's all I wanted to uh, show on this route. So we're going to go ahead and go westward to Cherry Grove City and head up north. We are jumped your ledge. What you gonna do, foo? Yay, Ness. Let's check what's in the mart. Welcome. How may I help you? Bye. Um, let's pick up some antidotes. Let's pick up paralyzed heal. Yeah, too. It's gonna be quite a while before we are able to buy some high-quality items that'll make this game a little bit more bearable. 
Welcome back to Route 30. If you missed some of the new Pokemon I introduced in the last chapter, there should be a little note at the bottom or something. You can easily skip him. In, in Crystal, I think he's unskippable, but you're going to want to fight this trainer. Like I said, you're going to want to fight this trainer because, believe it or not, he gives off really good experience and he battles frequently because you can rematch him. Oh no! I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle! I look weak? Really? Youngster Joey! See, I even knew his name. Youngster Joey wants to battle. He sent out his Rattata at level 4. Uh, memories. He always bragged about his stupid Rattata. I like how Gus goes on Rattata. Wait, watch this animation. Look at it. it like, it's like whipping Rattata on the butt. I love Gus. <laughs> I love the animation. Ugh, I don't have any more Pokemon. And he's never gonna have any more Pokemon. Press A again, and he will give you his number. He will battle you three times before your second gym badge. If you're lucky. And this trainer is unavoidable. Then you have the battle. He has a Pidgey and a Rattata. Level 2 and level 4. Youngster Mikey sent out Pidgey. Level 2. That shows you how many times I play this game. <laughs> Ooh, that wasn't hard. See, I'm being smart this time and picking up a Pidgey because... Last time, I did not pick up a Pidgey, and I was stuck with Chikorita, so that was a little tough on me. Tail up 12 does nothing except for lower your defense. Ah, oh, come on! So close! So close! That's strange, I won before. Well, just because you won one doesn't mean you're a boss. Level 11! Uh, that's just how the pattern goes. Well, this is my strategy of leveling up. What, lady? I'm not a trainer, but I feel like a one eyes prepared battle. This trainer up here... This trainer up here, he's... He's totally skippable. You gotta be able to sneak by him, though. Uh, I think he has two Caterpies and one Weedle. You see? You see that? He's ready for us. But we're gonna go ahead and battle. He has stubby legs! I catch a Dawn Sun Caterpie. Oh no, it's be sent to Chikorita. Oh well. Caterpie doesn't really seem like a threat at this level. That bug-eyed Pokemon is going down. Oh, two Caterpies. Nope. Tackle it! Tackle it to the ground! Defeat your bug ass. Yeah. <laughs> I want to cut down that tree. Root 30. Oh, I forgot it doesn't have those little annotations, but you can tell because it takes like a little pause when you go to the next route. There's one new Pokemon you are able to find here, and its name is Bellsprout. So let me get my tiny little nut sticky. Bellsprout is the flower Pokemon, it's poison and grass type. It's a pretty good Pokemon, once you think about it. It's flexible, it gives out good experience, and it has a pretty decent moveset for its typing. And if you are willing to buy some TMs for it, it can be a pretty decent Pokemon. Dark Cave. Need to explore it. 
I'm not sure if there's an item here. Nope. There's an item here. We got an antidote. Hooray for free drugs. What? Huh? Huh? I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were well, I'll be aged. Oh. Yeah, that's true. That's pretty much true. Bitterberry. Bitterberry um, helps get rid of confusion on Pokemon. So it's pretty good to have around since. Yeah. And coincidentally, we're going to head into here, which is full of Pokemon that are able to confuse you. Welcome to the Dark Cave, and as you can see here, it's dark. Very dark. And it's a Geodude. Um, there's a couple of new Pokemon you're able to find here, which can be pretty useful. The first Pokemon you are able to find here is Zubat. Yes, I said it. I said the Z word. Zubat is a pretty decent Pokemon, considering its stats and all. And once you- ooh, an item. Okay, let's see if I can navigate through here. Zubat is pretty fast, and once you are able to get it fully evolved- Come on, come on! Come on! Dang. Um, if you, you are able to get his final evolution in this generation, lucky you. So, it's Poison Flying. It, if you run into it a lot, you're gonna be annoyed. I can already tell you that now. Um, next Pokemon you're able to find here is the misunderstood Pokemon Dunsparce. Ew, Zubat. Dunsparce? Uh, nah, I don't really approve of it that much. Hey! Hey! Suck the life out of me. Anyways, I don't really approve of Dunsparce that much because I don't like it. But I'm not going to be biased of it. It's a good Pokemon. It has really good stats, especially its HP stat. And its moveset isn't really that good by level up. But if you are willing to spend some or buy some teams for it, it proves to be a pretty good Pokemon. The next Pokemon you can find here, but only if you have the TM move Rock Smash, is Krabby. It's a very good Pokemon. It's a water type, and it has a very, 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 very good attack. And if you are able to get it up to its final evolution, it's gonna be a beast! So, that's Krabby for you. And next Pokemon you can find here, and again by Rock Smash, is Shuckle. Eh, Shuckle. Okay, you know, I think I'm gonna give up on this item because I, yeah. Shuckle is. Um. It's so weird Pokemon. It's unique, but. Yeah. As you can see, its defense is like totally maxed out. Like, maxed out to the bomb. Oh wait, um, but besides its other stats, like, what the heck? Yay, I got the item, and it's a potion. Um, Shuckle, like I said, its defense is to the max, but its other stats are pretty, and eh, not too good. Especially in this generation, since there's like no moves to help boost its other moves, you know, like swapping out its stats. So to me, it's like a novelty Pokemon in this generation. Urgh. Hey, we leveled up and learned a move out of that battle. Um, as I said, Shuckle is. A novelty Pokemon in this generation to me. If you like its defense, if you can find a way around it and use it in battle, then by all means, go ahead and pick it up. So, back to our Chikorita, leveling up and learning Reflect. It boosts, it boosts our defense by one level. So let's get the heck out of here. Almost there, almost there, yes! 
And as you can see here, you can kind of see, you can kind of see where you are if you exit out. And onward, east or west. We found a Pokeball. I'm gonna have to switch out here because this bug catcher is. He's not the nice. He's not the nicest bug catcher over here. With? I got a bunch of Pokemon. Let's battle with you. Dun 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 dun. Wait, he has three Caterpies and one Weedle. So that's why we have our Pidgey out here. Let's go and go ahead and gust all these caterpillars. It's super effective. <laughs> Caterpies will be taking over the world soon, just so you know. The Caterpie Apocalypse. Now, if I had my Chikorita out, he was going to send out his Weedle. But no, he's saving it for last. Yeah. Oh, 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 now you send it out. Okay. Wait, no, I don't want to switch out. Heck no, I'm not crazy. And this Weedle, just so you know, it, ha it does have the move Poison Point, or Poison Sting. So it can easily poison you. And we take him down. Aww. Now, if you are a big fan of berries, you can go ahead and get his number, because he will have some cool berries. Uh, or a rematch. Hmm. I don't remember rematches. So you get berries and a rematch from him. So close. Ooh, lucky enough it was a bell sprout and I got some experience points. Hi, did you visit the sprout tower? Nope, not yet. I came too far, I better phone home. Yay, we made it to Violet City. We're gonna go ahead and heal up. Ha la 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 la, hurry up, hurry up, ba 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 ba. Mm hmm, see what I did there? Um, I guess we're gonna end this chapter off here in Violet City, so... Yeah, next time on Pokemon Gold, we're gonna be exploring the So Set Sprout Tower up north here and the rest of Violet City. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned.